for your speech. Hello, friends. Sorry, I thought it was five. I was totally confused with the time. Sorry, sorry. I was waiting for the 6 p.m. and it was 6 p.m. I'm very sorry for that. How are you? Are you okay? Fine. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Excuse me for being late. Well, friends, let's begin our class by checking the homework. The homework was a reading on page 77. So let's go to page 77. In reality, the reading is on page 76, but the questions are on page uh, 77, exercise number three, uh, three. Right, you have to insert the sentences you have in, with letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and these sentences are on page 77, but you have to insert these sentences to the text that you have on page 76. So let's go to page 76. Give me a second. Page 76. Where students book. On page 100, what? Celia, what do you say? One hundred and sixty seven. Ah, Thalia, now I remember, friend, because we didn't finish the infinitive and... Uh, is that the idea? Is that the idea, Celia, that we didn't finish the infinitive and verbs plus ing? Didn't we finish these exercises? I mean, infinitive and verb plus ing forms. We didn't finish that. Yes. We did. Or we didn't. Uh, lo hicimos o no lo hicimos? We didn't. Ah, we didn't. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you, Celia. Thank you, friend. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, page number 167. Because on page 167, what we have is uh, the big headache of verbs plus infinitive or ing. Because in the previous lesson, we studied that there are verbs that are always followed by infinitive with two. We study other verbs that can be followed by ing. At the end of a unit number 166, we studied some verbs that can be followed by gerund or infinitive with no difference. Imagine that. And now we have to study verbs that can be followed by infinitive or ing, but the meaning is different. So let's see that. Thank you, Celia, because I, as you can see, I didn't remember this. Let's go to the book. Page 167. Here. Let me make it bigger. Well, it says verbs followed by either an infinitive or a verb plus ing with a difference in meaning. And the first one is remember. So remember can be followed by infinitive or ing, but the meaning is different. Observe the examples. Did you remember to bring your running shoes? 
an action you have to do. How do we translate remember plus ing? In this example, te acordaste de traer. See that? It's an action that you have to do. You have to bring your running shoes. However, when you use remember ing, the difference is meaning, Obser is different. Observe the example. I remember feeling very tired at the end of the race. I remember feeling in Spanish. Recuerdo que me sentí muy cansado al final de la carrera. Recuerdo sentirme muy cansado al final de la carrera. Something in the past. I remember something that happened in the past. So that is the difference between remember to and remember ing. Remember to is something that I have to remember. And remember ing is something I remember from the past. As you can see, remember can be followed by both infinitive and ing, but the meaning is different. ¿Te acordaste de traer? Recuerdo haberme sentido muy cansado. Recuerdo que me sentí muy cansado. That is ing. Now, forget is more or less similar because forget is the opposite of remember and they work similarly. When I use forget plus infinitive, observe the example, don't forget to bring your tennis racket. Uh, no te olvides de traerlo. So you can remember now, take the tennis racket and bring it. So it's an action you have to do. An action you have to remember to do. No te olvides de traer. But in ING, it's different. Observe the example. I never forget winning my first tennis championship. Nunca olvidaré cuando gané mi primer campeonato de tenis. Nunca olvidaré haber ganado something similar to that. But in the past, in the past, so in conclusion, with remember and forget, they have something in common. And it is that when I use remember plus infinitive, it's something I have to remember. Forget in inf plus infinitive is something that I don't, I shouldn't forget to do, but ING is something about the past. Something I remember about the past is ING, or something I forget in the past, ING. Regret can be followed by infinitive or ING. In, and the problem is more or less similar. Regret too is something that I regret now, but regret ing is something I regret about the past. Observe the example. I regret to tell you the race has been canceled. In Spanish, lamento decirles, you see, it's now in the present. I regret not training. This is the ing example. I regret no training harder before the race. Lamento no haber entrenado más antes de la carrera. Something in the past, you know, I didn't train enough. I didn't. And now in the present, I regret something about the past, ING. I regret something in the present, infinitive. I regret something I did or something I didn't do in the past, ING. So there is a coincidence, if you analyze deeply this problem, among remember, forget, and regret. Always to means something in the present. If the verb is remember, something you remember in the present. If the verb is forget, something you forget in the present. If you the verb is regret, something you regret about the present. Ah, but when you use ing, it's about the past. Something you remember about the past, something you forget about the past, or something you regret about the past. Let's see, try now. Observe the example with two. I'm running every day because I'm 
trying to get fit. So try to implies my objective. Hmm? What is the objective of uh, this uh, action to get fit in this case? So when you use try to, it's something you have to do. Uh, it's the aim or objective of your action. But it has implicit that is now and in the future with a, with a future projection. Observe the example with ING. If you want to get fit, why don't you try swimming? So swimming is a method to reach your objective. It's a method. It's not my objective, it's a method. So in the case of try, there is no coincidence with remember, forget, and regret. It's not the same case. You have to study try apart from the other three because it is not a problem of present or past. In the ca case of try, I'm running the, the try uh, with infinitive. This example you have in the book, I'm running every day because I'm trying to get fit. I corro todos los días porque estoy intentando ponerme en forma. Observe with ING. If you want to get fit, why don't you try swimming? Si quieres ponerte en forma, ¿por qué no pruebas la natación? Right? So, you see, it's not a problem of present or past. Mm -mm. Mean. Observe the example of mean with infinitive. Mario means to win the championship. Mario lo que, lo que quiere es ganar el campeonato. Now observe the use of mean with ing. I wanted to be a swimming champion, but it meant going to the pool every day at 5.30. When I use mean plus ing, it is in Spanish, pero esto incluía, esto mm, conllevaba something similar to that. Yo quería ser un campeón de natación, pero esto conllevaba ir todos los días a la piscina a las 5 y 30 de la mañana. It meant going. Esto significaba tener que ir. Esto significaba ir. So that is the, uh, the, the, the difference between mean plus infinitive is the intention and mean plus ing is what it involve what it involved stop is more clear than try and mean when you study this list of verbs that can be followed by infinitive or ing you have to separate in groups remember forget regret in infinitive is something about the present with ing is something dealing with the past in the case of try and mean, you have to study them separately because the problem here is not present and past, it's the meaning, how we translate try plus infinitive and how we translate try plus ing similar to mean, mean plus infinitive or mean plus ing, they, the problem here is not present and past, it's what is the meaning. Stop is very simple in reality. It's easy, the case of a stop. Observe the example. Halfway through the marathon, he stopped to drink some water. A mitad del maratón se detuvo para beber un poco de agua. In between parentheses, in order to drink some water. ¿Para qué se detuvo? That is a stop too. ¿Para qué me detuve? ¿Para qué te detuviste? ¿O para qué se detuvo la otra persona? Para hacer algo. That is the infinitive. But now, compare with ING. When he realized he couldn't win, he stopped running. Cuando se percató que no podía ganar, dejó de correr. No paró, él lo dejó por completo. Dejó de correr. He didn't continue. So, stop to es que se detuvo o me detuve, depende del sujeto, 
el sujeto se detuvo para hacer otra cosa. Stop ING es que el sujeto, he, she, I, dejó de hacer eso. Stop running, dejó de correr. Stop to run, se detuvo para correr. That is the difference between stop ING, stop infinitive. So, my friends, in conclusion, the problem in this list are try and mean, because you have to study every case in particular. However, remember, forget and regret, the problem between infinitive and ING is that infinitive refers to the present and perhaps the future, but ING refers to the past. In the case of a stop, it's easy, because a stop too is in Spanish, similar to Spanish, by the way, detenerse de lo que estás haciendo para hacer otra cosa stop to stop ing es dejar de hacerlo stop eating candies stop eating sugar you are obese stop deja de hacerlo ing try and mean can be the problem in this chart so you have to check it out you have to revise try and mean But now, now, friends, let's check the homework. What the homework was, exercise three, page 77. Let's go to page 77. Here. Page 77, I have to go to page 77. I repeat. The exercise is on page 77, exercise 3, but you know that the text is on the previous page here. And what you have to do is to insert these letters you have on page 77 into the square gaps that you have on page 76. My God. Let's see. Number one. What letter do you think is the appropriate for, uh, for number one? G for idia. And nobody else. Ah, oh, okay. David G, Maria G, and Frankie E. Well, friends, the answer is G. You know, Anna G. Alex G. Yes, friends, G is the correct answer according to Cambridge. And what about number two? What is the letter that you think is the adequate for number two? F for Idia, E for Anna, C for Alex. We have all the options. David F, Maria F, and Sylvia F. Friends, F is correct. Letter F. And in number three, Sylvia C, Anna C, Iria C, also David C, Maria C, and Celia C, correct. C is the correct answer. Now let's go to four. What do you think of four? For Maria is E, for Sylvia is E, for Anna is E, the Iria is E, David is E, correct, friends. E is the correct answer in number four. And five? Five is uh, B for Sylvia, B for Iria, B for Maria, B for Anna and David. Very good, friends. Yes, B is number five. And number six, opinions. A for Anna, A for Iria, A for Sylvia. Very good, very good. Because A, David and Maria, A is the correct answer. So in conclusion, the homework, the correct answers in the homework was number one, G, number two, F, number three, C, number four, E, number five, B, and number six, A. They are six. You needed four correct answers. I mean, you can have two mistakes and you still pass this evaluation. Very good. Congratulations to all people who pass this evaluation. Well, it, it, it's not an evaluation, you know. It's just an exercise. Grammar is what worries me now. Infinitive plus, uh, sorry, verb plus infinitive and verbs plus uh, gerund or ing. 
I, I would like to begin the class by doing exercise number two on page 78. Here, page 78, exercise number two. I'm going to give you some minutes for you to analyze if you have to use ing or infinitive. And if you don't remember, please go to the page 160 something. I don't remember now. And analyze it. OK, as soon as you get ready, send me a message. Idea finished. Anna finished. David. Failure finished. Alex finished. And Sylvia finished. Frank finished. Very good. So he says, number one, Carlos has suggested the very start a fire-aside football team. What is it? To start or starting? Starting. Starting for you, very good. And for the rest of the class? Yes, starting. Starting. So for Frank, it's starting. For Iria, it's starting. Nobody else? No more answers? It's very easy in reality. Starting. Yes. Suggest is one of the verbs that is always followed by ing. So suggested, starting. 
I don't think the weather is good enough blank sailing this afternoon. Enough. Yes? Can you write it to see it? To go, Idia. David, to go. Anna, to go. And Alex, to go. Yes, friends. To go after enough is the infinitive. Very good. To go sailing this afternoon. Three, we've decided blank. The race early in the morning before it gets too hot. What about three? To hold Anna. To hold for David. And for Athelia to hold the infinitive in this case after decide. Yes, this is correct. We've decided to hold the race early in the morning before it gets too hot. Now, in number four is the Soviet. The verb is the Soviet of the sentence. What is it? To train or training? Training for David, training for Anna, and training for Thelia. Nobody else. And Maria training also. You coincide because this is training for Alex. Correct. Training because it's the Soviet of the sentence. Five, I've joined a gym blank myself feeder. Getting or to get? To get for Maria, to get for Anna, to get for Celia. Mm, yes, for Iria is to get and for David is to get. To get is perfect. This is why I jo I've joined the gym. Six, if you train too hard, you risk blank yourself before the race to injure or injuring. Injuring for Anna, injuring for Maria Rodriguez and Iria, injuring ING, Frank the same, David injuring, yes, friends, correct, injuring ING after risk. Number seven is no good, is no good, what? To run or running in, in a marathon, running for Anna, running for David and Maria, and who else? Who else? Nobody else. Nobody else. Okay, you three are correct. It's not good running. Eight, she was disqualified from the race for an opponent. And you see the picture of the blonde girl doing this. For what? For is a preposition. Pushing David, pushing Sylvia, pushing Anna. Yes, friends. Yes. After a preposition, Iria, very good. Maria, good. Frank, good. Good. After a preposition for, in this case, we, we always use ing. Now, observe exercise three. It's easier because you only have to uh, what circle. You have to circle the correct form in italics, the infinitive or the general. And there are only four sentences. Let's do this exercise. And when you finish, send me a message.
Alex finish, Anna finished. Very good. Alex finish, Idia finish, Anna finish. Very good. Frankie finish, uh, Maria. Well, let's check it. In in number one, friends, what do you think is the correct form to do or doing? For, for Idia is to do and for Anna is to do Alex to do, Frank to do, Maria to do, Sylvia to do, and to do is the correct, failure to do, correct. What sport would you advise someone to do in order to make, to, uh, to make, uh, to make friends? In number two, to learn or learning, what's your opinion? To learn, Anna, to learn, Sylvia, to learn, David, And also, Idia to learn, Maria to learn, and Celia to learn. Yes, friends, what sport would you choose to learn if you had plenty of time and money? Three, what's your opinion to do or doing? Doing for David, doing for Sylvia, and for Anna is doing. Also for Idia, doing, doing for Maria. Yes, yes, doing is the correct form. If someone needed to get fit, what sport would you suggest doing? Very good. And number four, take part in or taking part in? Taking part in for Iria and for Anna and for David, taking part. Taking part in for Sylvia. Very good, friends. That's correct. ING. What sport do you avoid to? Uh, yes, sorry. What sport do you avoid taking part in and why? Exercise four in, uh, on the same page is more difficult because the problem here is, you know, you have to correct the mistakes of other people. Observe sentence number one. Students are not allowed running along school corridors. Uh, allowed to always is allowed to in this case is not allow running but allow to run what is the problem here the problem is that there are two correct sentences my friends so be careful there are two correct sentences that you don't have to uh, correct right so let's do exercise number five sorry it's not four is exercise five on page 78.
Anna finished, David finished, Iria finished. This exercise is more difficult than the previous ones. In number two, for example, the first question is, is sentence number two correct or incorrect? And if the sentence is incorrect, what is the problem? Who knows? It is incorrect, Iria. Yes, yes, it is incorrect. What is the problem? Exactly, Iria. Yes, it's not it's spending, it's to spend. Exactly. Few people choose to spend their time taking exercise. Yes, David. Yes, Anna, to spend. Excellent, friends. Excellent, Iria, Anna, and David to spend in number three the internet means that we spend more time sitting at home but we cannot imagine to live without it is this correct or incorrect incorrect maria yes idiot incorrect it is incorrect what is the problem Yes, Anna, is not correct. Yes. What is the problem? Is living. Uh, Anna, yes, yes. Is not to live. I cannot imagine to live. No, I cannot imagine living without it. Living is the answer in number three. In number four, being fit and healthy doesn't mean to run 20 kilometers a day. Is this correct or incorrect? Exactly, no, correct, Anna, uh, Iria, incorrect, yes, Maria, incorrect, according to Iria, is not to run, is running, opinions, to run or running? Running for Anna, yes, very good, similar to Iria, yes, friends, Iria and Anna, you are correct, is running. Being fit and healthy doesn't mean running 20 kilometers a day. Five, many students would prefer to cycle to school than go by bus. Correct or incorrect? For Iria is correct, for Anna is correct. Yes, friends, you are right, Iria and Anna. This sentence is correct. You don't have to change anything here. Six, many people only think about take exercise when they are overweight. Correct or incorrect, number six? We are in number six, correct or incorrect? It is incorrect for Anna, it is incorrect, it is for David, it is uh, tacking, tacking, well, maybe taking, maybe it's taking, David. Idea, for Idea is incorrect also. Yes, yes, David, but I understood, I understood, David. Uh, for Idea is taking, for Anna is taking, yes, friends, it is taken many people only think about about is a preposition so you have to use ing about taking exercise blah 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 seven unless they try to compete as a team they won't succeed to win the competition no correct anna yes number seven is incorrect it is inc but what is the problem do you know is uh, what is the problem Winning for Anna, winning for Iria, winning for Maria. Very good with double N and everything. Yes, winning with double N. But there is another problem, friends. Yeah, look at Maria. Maria is perfect. In winning. You need the preposition in. You need the preposition in. So copy that unless they try to compete as a team. They won't succeed in winning the competition because succeed in always together. In is a preposition. You have to use ing winning. Eight, doing a sport is a good alternative if you are bored to sit and read a book. 
what is the problem here or is it correct? No answers? It is incorrect, Frank. Yes, Maria, it is incorrect. Yes, yes, Anna. The, it is incorrect. The problem is sitting. Yes, it, only sitting and the other, the other verb too. There are two verbs. So you have to rectify. Yes, and reading, exactly. Sitting and reading. Yes, very good, Celia and Anna. You have to change both. Doing a sport is a good alternative if you are bored, sitting and reading a book. You know what? Normally, I want you to analyze this. Normally with bored, we use we are bored with. We are bored with something that we don't say in Spanish. We don't say estoy aburrido con, decimos estoy aburrido de. But this in English is I am bored with reading and sitting but the problem is that with the passing of years with the passing of time we omit the with and many people omit with but when you write think the correct form is bored with aburrido de bored with aburrido de leer and bored with reading uh, estoy aburrido de caminar and bored with uh, walking but i repeat with the passing of years, people are constantly omitting with. And similar to La Real Academia de Lenguas, finally, you know, the, they accepted. They accepted the omission of with. But in the past, board with was always together. And that's why after board, we use ing, because in the past, we used bored with well let's continue now we are going to number nine it may be good to use a bicycle instead of going by public transport correct or incorrect for anna it is a right sentence is correct and for the other people frankie correct david correct and maria very good maria very good frank very good david yes friends Iria, that's correct. No problem with the sentence. Don't, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Ten. There are several good reasons for ride a bicycle, a bike. Sorry. Correct or incorrect? And if it is incorrect, what is the problem? To ride in, Iria. Ride in, David. What is the solution? I don't understand. The problem is, maybe it is incorrect. Yes, not correct. Writing, writing, yes. So we have to eliminate uh, ride and use for writing. But there is another possibility with this expression. You can say there are several good reasons to ride or there are several good reasons for Riding. If you select two, you keep ride. If you, uh, sorry, if you keep four, you have to use riding. If you change four for two, you keep ride. Well, my explanations are always confusing, but I hope you understand that we can use to ride or for riding. Okay, good. Now, we have a reading and use of English, part four. Typical exercise in the exam, so imagine how important it is. But this is funny, this exercise that you have here on page one, no, 78, page 78. It is funny because this exercise number one begins like if like if you students didn't know the characteristics they give you the sentence that you have to fill in and they give you options that you have to select in the exam this is not the way you know in the exam they don't give you a b c or d you have to use your imagination so let's see exercise one working pairs impossible 
for questions one and two, choose the correct answer A to D. Why are the other answers incorrect? That is the important thing of this exercise that you have to tell me why A is correct, but not B because of that, not C because of that, and no D because of that reason. So analyze one and two, only these two sentences, only these two, and select A, B, or C, and tell me why the rest is not possible. Maria finished, Anna finished, Iria finished. Also, David, my God, very good. I think that Alex is about to finish. Sylvia finished and Alex finished. Okay, let's check it out. And listen to me, the sentence says, number one says, we don't, why don't we start jogging if we want some exercise? And you have to use taking. I want you to observe the sentence. He suggested blank in order to get some exercise. And the options are, he suggested that they should take up jogging. Is this the correct answer or no? Yes or no? No, Iria, very good. It's not the correct answer. No, it is not. David, it's no. Yes, Anna, this is not the correct answer. A is not adequate. But the question is, why not? Why do you think that A is not adequate? Excellent, Iria. Too many words. If you count the number of words, they are one, two, three, four, five, and six. The maximum in first certificate of English is five. So six are too many words, as Syria said. So A is incorrect because there are six words. What about B? Do you think that B is correct or incorrect? For Iria, it is correct. For Frankie Boy is correct, for David is correct, for Anna is correct, for Maria is correct. So let it be for the majority of the students is correct, taking up jogging. They are one, two, three. You have the word taking, which is essential, and three words. He suggested taking up jogging in order to get, eh, sugirió iniciarse en el jogging. 
para hacer un poco de ejercicio. Ah, that's okay. But why let us see is not correct. Why not let us see? Let us see are one, two, three, and four words. Why not then? No, nobody is not followed by the infinitive suggest is not followed by the infinitive suggest exactly uh, and besides in the instructions you know that you have to use the word given yes Anna uh, in the in this exercise in the exam you cannot change taking you cannot change change it to to, to take you cannot change the word given. So you have to use taking. And in letter C, the verb is to take, no taking. So this is incorrect. And why letter D is not acceptable? Why do you think that D is not adequate? Exactly, David, because the verb, the, the word taking Yes, Maria, the word taking is not here. Exactly. Yes, Iria. If you don't use taking, you you fail the exam. Yes, Anna. So you have to ha to use taking and taking is not in letter D. So it, it is it, not acceptable. Letter B is the perfect. In number two, she won the match without difficulty. Now you have to use easy. What is the option here? A, B, C, O, D. What's your opinion? A for Anna, A for Iria, A for David, and, and for Maria is A, and, and Celia is A. Very good, and Frankie. Correct. A is the correct answer. She found it easy to win the match. But why not B? Many words, Iria, yes. Six words, Anna, exactly, yes. Too many words, David, exactly. Do you see the intention of the book? The intention of this exercise is that you remember this for the exam, that you remember that you have to count the number of words because the maximum are five, the minimum two, but the maximum five. And why not see C is incorrect. Exactly, David. Exactly, Frank. Yes, yes. Yes, Maria. They change, yes, Iria. They change the word. Exactly. I have to use easy, no easily or nothing. I have to use easy. And in letter C, they are using easily. It's not the same. So this is in a, a not acceptable. And why not D? Exactly, David. Yes, Iria, exactly that. Yes, Anna. They are omitting the word easy, and this is not acceptable in the exam. That's right. If you analyze this exercise that seems to be very easy and very simple, and some people say, this is a stupid exercise. Yes, but the intention of the book is a very good intention. The intention of the book is to remind you, hey, student, remember, you have to use the word given. You cannot change the word given. You have a limit of words, minimum two, maximum five. So now, if you pass to page number one, uh, 79, I'm sorry for, for uh, confusing the pages, but you know, uh, during the week, we are in unit number 11, and we are using pages 100 and something, so when I am working with you, I sometimes confuse and say 100 and no, 100, nothing. This is 79, exercise two. This is a little bit more realistic, not completely, observe. It's not similar to the exam, but it's more realistic than the previous exercise because they give you hints. 
They give you ideas, help. Let's do exercise two. They are in reality only three sentences. When you finish, please send me a message. David, finished?
Ada finished, Maria finished, David finished. Frank finished. Okay, let's check this exercise number two, page 79. Number one, Marianne, prepare for the phrase by training every evening. You have to use ready. Marianne, train every evening blank for the race. What is what you use to fill in the blanks in this exercise one. What are the possibilities? Well, for Frank is to get ready. For Maria is to be ready. In order to ready, David, in order to to be or in order to get ready, you need the get or the be, but the, the rest is perfect. The, the rest is perfect, David. So as to get ready. Beautiful, Lydia. I like it. So as to get ready. Yes, I like that form. Beautiful form. Yes. So as to. Yes. Yes. Very good. This is another form, right, friends? So we, ha we have many possibilities to be ready, to get ready, in order to get ready, in order to be ready, so us to get ready for the race. Very good, friends. All the answers are right. Number two, I found it impossible not to laugh at his efforts. And you have to use help. What is your solution for number two? Cannot help laughing for David. Couldn't help laughing for Iria. No more answers. No more answers. Could not help laughing for Maria, couldn't help laughing for Anna. Yes, friends, it is in past. The problem is that the initial sentence is, I found it, is past, you know? So my sentence has to be in past. No can, but could. I couldn't help laughing at his efforts. Very good. Three, cycling on the pavement is prohibited. And you have to use the word, the verb use. So cyclists are not allowed to use Iria, must not use David, are not allowed to use Maria. Well, I think that all the options are okay. Yes, cyclists are not allowed to use is the beautiful answer, but David answer is not incorrect. Cyclist mustn't use the pavement. It could be also acceptable here, yes. And finally, friends, the real exercise in the exam is not similar to exercise one on page 78. It's not similar to exercise two on this page. It is more similar to exercise three on page 79. Observe exercise three. This is the reality in the exam. Now do this part four question. 
they give you six sentences with no hints, no ideas, nothing, it's only you and the piece of paper in blank, right? So dedicate all your effort and think, in this effort to do exercise three, I am preparing for my future exams. When you finish, please don't rush, don't rush, take your time, but do it correctly. And when you finish, send me a message.
So Frank finished, Anna finished, David finished. This exercise is similar to the exam. Let's see how well you did it. If you do it good here, you do it good in the exam. Thalia finished. So it says in number one, we are, well, the exam, the, the model sentence is, we'd like all our students to participate in the sports program, but you have to use but. And he says, we are keen on all our students blank the sports program. What did you write in the space in blank? Taking part in, Anna. Is there any other answer? Taking part in, David, the same media. And that's all. Well, the answer is correct, you friends. Yes, taking part in is the perfect answer. We are keen on all our students taking part in the sports program. Perfect. So number one is perfect. Let's go to number two. Buying the equipment for this sport is cheaper than hiring. So more, it's more expensive to hire for Iria. More expensive to hire for David. For Anna, is the same. More expensive to hire. And for Frank, the same. Very good. Very good. The answer is, it's more expensive to hire the equipment for this sport than to buy it. Three, you should have phoned her to tell her the game was cancelled. And now you have to use give. You were supposed, what? To give her a call for Iria, to give her a call for Anna, to give a call, David. Maybe you, you need to use her, David. The same, Maria, to give her a call. Excellent. That is the answer. To give her a call, to tell her the game was canceled. Very good. Let's see five. No, sorry, four. Matteo managed to win the race. You have to use succeeded. Matteo blank the race. What in the space in blank? Succeeded in winning, Anna. Succeeded in winning, Maria. Succeeded in winning, Iria. Very good. Succeeded in winning, David. The same, Thelia. Yes. Thank you for the in. Because in other classes, they use succeed and they forgot in. Succeeded in winning. Very good. Five. I'll never get angry with the referee again, said Martin. And you have to use temper. Martin promised never, never what? To lose his temper with Iria. Nobody else to lose his temper with Anna. Maria Rodriguez, the same, to lose, his, yes, to lose his temper with, very good, that is the correct answer. Martin promised never to lose his temper with the referee again. Now let's go to six. Tanya found windsurfing easy to learn, and you have to use difficulty. Tanya, Tanya what? Had no difficulty in learning for Anna. Only Anna, no, nobody else. Learned without, uh, without, uh, learned without difficulty. Well, the answer is very similar to Anna. Tanya had no difficulty in learning. This is the perfect answer. Remember that in is optional. Even when I prefer you to use it, you know, preparing you for the exam is better to use it. 
I repeat, Tanya had no difficulty in learning to windsurf. Now we are going to a listening. We are going to do a listening that you have next page, page 80. You have a listening. The topic of the listening is exactly what you see in the picture. This is a sport. Do you know the name of this sport? Does anyone know the name in English of this sport? Nobody? Well, Frank, it is in exercise two, item one, right? Exercise two, inciso uno, item one. Why did Hannah want to try paragliding? The name of this sport is paragliding. Yes, Frankie, paragliding is the name of this sport, but we know not much about paragliding. I don't know you, but I, particularly me, don't have much information about paragliding. That's why I want you to watch a video about paragliding for you to know what sport we are speaking about. Give me a break, a minute to find this video because I want, I want you to see it. Just a minute here. Here we are.
Well, you see, this is a beautiful spot when you see it on a film or a video or when you watch it on television, but I wouldn't like to be flying up there because I think it's very dangerous. I don't know if you like it or not. I respect that. This is paragliding. And the listening that we have now on page 80 is about a person who began practicing paragliding when she decided to do it, why, etc. Exercise two, page 80. They are seven questions with answers, right? So please read the questions and answers, prepare for the listening. Meanwhile, I'll try to attach the audio here to the chat, but you take advantage of the time and read the questions and read the answers, right? In case you need to use your uh, translators or your dictionaries.
well, friends, this is only one repetition and you need two, and some students need three repetitions. That's why I sent this audio to your WhatsApp group. So please open up your WhatsApp group in your mobile phones and listen to this again and again until you get an answer. As soon as you are ready to answer the questions, send me a message, okay?
Very good. Maria finished, Alex finished, Anna finished, and David finished. Listening is a very good exercise, friends, because in the exams, sometimes the results are not very good. So if you practice and have good results today, you are preparing for the future. Let's see your answers. In number one, why did Hannah want to try paragliding? What do you think is the correct answer? A, B, C? Which one do you think is? For Anna is A. And for Alex, exactly the same. Similar to David, A. And Iria, A to Maria, A. Felia, A, very good, because A is the correct answer. Yes, she had seen other people doing it. So in number two, why did Hannah choose to do a paragliding course in France and not in England? Because she's English. A, B, C, or, or what? Iria is C. For David is C. For Alex and Anna is letter C too. They agree on letter C, similar to Maria. Letter C. Friends, correct. Yes, let us see. The weather was better. In, in England, it was always raining or something happened. It was impossible in England. Three, Hannah says that the advantage of learning to paraglide from the sand dune is that A, that B, or that C. In number three, what's your opinion? B for Iria, B for Maria. Also for Alex is letter B. And for David is letter B. For Anna is letter B. Yes, friends, you are terrific today. You can land comfortably on the sand. So number three is letter B. Number four, observe four. How did Hannah spend the first morning of her course? A, B or C? Number four, A for Maria, A for Iria, A for Anna. Nobody else, nobody else. Yes, David A, Alex A, very good, friends, because A is the correct answer. She learned to lift her paraglider. So number four is letter A. Five, when she started flying, her instructor A, B, or C? Five. B for Alex, B for Iria, B for Anna, and nobody else. B for David, B for Thelia. Yes, friends, you are right. Talk to her over the radio. 5B. 6. When you land after paragliding, it feels like A, B, or C. What's your opinion? For Anna is A, for Iria is A, for Maria is A, for David is A also. A is correct, friends. Yes. Jumping from a seat. She mentions a bench in the park, but a bench, the most similar is a seat. Well, now, seven, what for Hannah is the best reason to go paragliding? A, B, or C? Seven, C for Maria, C for Anna, C for Iria. Who else? Nobody? Alex C, David C. Yes, friends, it's quiet. So, friends, very good exercise, very good results. Number one is A, number two was C, number three B, number four A, number five B, number six A, and number seven letter C. Very good. Now we are supposed to begin studying in vocabulary section the difference between look, see, watch, and apart, listen, and hear. That is what we have to study, but it is impossible to begin today because of the time, you see? It's late. So the only thing I can do is to assign the homework. So copy, please, the homework for next Friday. It is grammar exercise in the workbook. Grammar exercise one in the workbook page 28 and the vocabulary the same page page 28 in the workbook vocabulary exercise phrasal verbs and expression with take 
this is the other exercise in the workbook. On page 29 in the workbook, observe page 29, exercise two, they are phrasal verb using prepositions, but all these phrasal verbs have something in common. They use take. Phrasal verb using take. Exercise two, page 29 in the workbook. Friends, these are the homeworks. I repeat, in the workbook, grammar exercise one, page 28, vocabulary exercise one, page 28, vocabulary exercise two, page 29, everything in the workbook. Do you understand the homework? Yes. Yeah. Thank you, friends. Thank you very much. Anyway, I'm going to write this homework in your WhatsApp group in order to avoid confusions, right? Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful weekend and see you next Friday. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Have a nice weekend. The bye. same to you, friend. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye, friends.